dear students here we have the continuation video lecture on the topic partial differential equations we have to form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function so this is problem 5 here the question is eliminate the arbitrary function from f of x plus y plus z comma x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 0 and hence obtain the corresponding partial differential equation so now here the solution is given in the form f of that is it is given in the form phi of u comma v is equal to 0 so whenever the solution is in this form we have to understand the partial differential equation will be of the form capital p multiplied with small p plus capital q multiplied with small q is equal to capital r and this form is known as the lagrange's type of equation so this is lagrange's type so whenever you have the solution of the form phi of u comma v equal to 0 the partial differential equation will be of the lagrange's type of equation and that will be of the form p capital p multiplied with small p plus capital q multiplied with small q is equal to capital r but what is this capital p capital q and capital r they are given by where capital p is given by the jacobian of u comma v with respect to y comma z capital q is equal to jacobian of u comma v with respect to z comma x and capital r is given as the jacobian of u comma v with respect to x comma y and how to find these values we know that uh, we have to take the determinant we have uh, we have already learnt about the jacobian you can refer those video lectures and understand it better so we um, we shall proceed the problem now now here the uh, function phi of u comma v equal to 0 is given as that is here it is given as f of x plus y plus z comma x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 0 so at the place of u we have x plus y plus z and at the place of v we have x squared plus y squared plus z squared so let us take and write that so u is equal to x plus y plus z and v is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared now in order to find p q and r we have to differentiate u partially with respect to x y z and v also partially with respect to x y z so we shall find do u by do x first and that will be equal to the differentiation of x is 1 and the differentiation of y and 0 will be 0 uh, y and z will be 0 because they will be treated as constants in a similar way do u by do y will be equal to 1 and also do u by do z will also be equal to 1 and after this we shall find do v by do x that is we have to differentiate this partially with respect respect to x the differentiation for x squared is 2x the remaining will become 0 also do v by do y will be 2y and in a similar way do v by do z will be 2z so these are the values that we have found now we shall find the value of p q and r it is given that the value of p is equal to jacobian of u comma v with respect to y comma z so now we shall find this this will be equal to what it will be equal to determinant of do u by do y do v by do y also do u by do z and do v by do z so if we substitute the values that we have found that is do u by do y is what 1 so we have it here it is 1 so we shall substitute that so it will be 1 and do v by do y is 2y so this will be 2y do u by do z is 1 and so here we will be having 
and do v by do z is 2 z and so we will be having 2 z so when we take the determinant value of this we obtain the value of p to be equal to so when we take it will be 2 z minus 2 y and the value of p will be equal to taking 2 in as common we will be having z minus y so this is the value of p that we obtain in a similar way we have to obtain the value of q and r so by using the same procedure i have found here the value of q to be 2 multiplied with x minus z and the value of r to be equal to 2 multiplied with y minus x so now as we have found all the three values that is p q and r we can take this and substitute in the lagrange's equation that is let me mark this as equation 1 so substituting the value of p q and r in equation 1 what we obtain is so we obtain 2 multiplied with z minus y multiplied with p plus the value of q that is 2 multiplied with x minus z into q is equal to the value of r is 2 multiplied with y minus x we can divide throughout by 2 so dividing throughout by 2 we obtain z minus y multiplied with p plus x minus z multiplied with q is equal to y minus x so this is the required partial differential equation that we have obtained so always remember whenever the solution is given in this form that is f of uh, u comma v equal to 0 then the partial differential equation that is the required partial differential equation will be of the Lagrange's type where the value of p q and r given by these Jacobian values so after finding these values we can directly substitute it in equation 1 that is the Lagrange's equation and we can obtain the partial differential equation for this uh, solution. So hope you have understood this problem. Uh, thank you.